Hello everybody, Talking Tommy coming at you from Halifax, West Yorkshire as per usual and today's video is another one of my UK over the counter blend reviews and today's tobacco is St Bruno Ready Rubbed so there's a pouch and this is the inside it has a picture of a Saint Bernard of Bernard and the cut is ready rubbed but it's more like broken flake um, I'm finding this quite a lot actually with the um, see look at that that's a massive piece of that. I'm finding this quite a lot at the moment with uh, UK over the counter blends and what I've discovered is that uh, shag cut tobacco um, isn't as popular as it used to be because um, not with manufacturers anyway it's because they would have to pay more duty on it um, if it can be proved that it can be used as a rolling tobacco so they try and make it as coarse as possible uh, in order to avoid that duty tax so I'm a pouch note very nice indeed it's uh it's very much like dried fruit um dried fruit and apricots that's what the pouch note smells like it's really really nice i could have a bowl of that on my kitchen table and um just keep it there like pot puree so that's that and i uh, have uh, somewhere a lighter oh. I've already filled it up into my Peterson system pipe which look at the grain on that eh? god just pipe this absolutely pipe <laughs> you can't go wrong with a Peterson system pipe at all so this let's get this lit. They call St. Bruno, or they used to be uh, adverts when it used to be on television many a year ago. We used to call it uh, the patron saint of pipe smokers. And in the adverts, it would always be someone stranded or um, or his own and he'd be he get his pipe out to have a smoke and he'd be out of tobacco and he'd be despairing and he'd be like no and then a St Bernard dog would turn up with a huge pouch of St Bruno around his neck and he'd come over to the guy and he'd be like oh yeah thank you St Bruno and start loading his pipe up with it. Pretty cool adverts actually, you can still get them on YouTube. So you can have a look out for them. So we're finally on to the Drew Light. Uh, so yeah, St. Bruno already rubbed it's possibly the most famous of UK over counter blends. I mean, everybody's heard of it. Everybody's heard of it. It's one of the brands that's always on the shelves in the kiosks. It's like it's like Condor, really, in that sense. It's possibly one of the more famous ones. I think I'd say the most famous ones probably would be Condor, Clan, and Saint Bruno.
So the moisture content straight from the pouch is a little bit wet. I mean, it could be because um, it's more like a broken flake now than the shag tobacco. So it could be that. Um, but I've noticed this. I've been smoking this pretty much all weekend to get a good uh, idea of the flavours and and what the tobacco is all about. And I have found that um, definitely it does it is prone to some relights due to the moisture content. Uh, but again, I think that's because it's now broken flake. You get a nice, thick, dense smoke off it. Um, this tobacco as well used to be the favourite tobacco of a British Member of Parliament, the late Tony Benn. Uh, he was a Labour MP, and uh, yeah, this was his favourite tobacco. And I can see why actually, it's a really good tobacco. about very thick smoke but it's not acrid it's not acrid at all it's very uh, very pleasant aroma it carries through that sort of dried fruit apricot kind of um, smell it's got a sort of floral flavour it's kind of lake under but it's it's not as uh, strong in terms of floral essence as say condor or some of the other lakelands um, the composition of this blend is Virginia's, um, possibly some uh, dark fired Virginia's I think, I'm not entirely sure, but it does definitely have that kind of character to it. But you get a cool smoke from it, it doesn't burn hot, it doesn't give you tongue bite at all, I don't find. <laughs> it's not soapy, like some people say. I've heard people describe it as soapy. Um, I, I don't get that, personally. But then, I've never had soap in my mouth, so I don't know, I don't know what that is. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The... Um, the other thing with St. Bruno is um, it's very it's very full flavoured, very uh, full bodied. It's got a classic kind of old man pipes tobacco smell about it. But a little bit more pleasant, a little bit more fruity, like I say. Kind of like dried fruit. That's what I find with it. It also has a sort of uh, bit of a yeah, just sort of a bit fruity, but sort of like not not necessarily fruit you'd be able to just pick out as such. But just a sort of generic kind of fruity, dried fruit kind of smell if you've if you've ever been into a, like a green grocers and you go through the dried fruit section, it just it smells like a bag of mixed dried fruit, I think. Smells really good in the moustache and beard. It smells really good. Sort of uh, room note. Yeah, it's 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 just very um, very kind of fruity. Um, it's possibly not a very good blend for um, novice pipe smokers or for um, lovers of aromatics. Um, but if you like Virginia's, 
and you like lake hunts then definitely it's worth it definitely worth a, a purchase of it now I first tried this blend probably about January last year maybe a little bit before it might be this time last year actually um, I've been this time last year or January this year, I can't remember. Um, but the one I tried was in a trade. And my friend who'd provided me with it had, um, he had quite a lot of um, pouches that had been unopened, had been bought on duty free, um, but they were dry, it was really dry. Um, and. I just couldn't get on with it. I just really couldn't get on with it. I didn't like it at all um, when I first tried it. But I mean, since then, I mean, this pouch I bought for this review um, was fresh, it was new, still moist in the packet. And it seems to be completely different. It seems to not be anything like it used to be at all. So I don't know how old that uh, pouch I'd had was. I don't think the recipe's changed at all, but I just don't think it aged well. I'm not sure about the conditions it was stored in or anything like that. It just it didn't it didn't taste soapy. It just didn't taste right. It was just I don't know. It was just ugh. But then my tastes have changed since then, so it could just be that. It did taste exactly the same as this, and I've just got false memory syndrome, I'm not sure. Could be either, really. Pardon me one moment. That being said, it is still a very robust and stout smoke. It's very uh, savoury, rather nice. Um, it's got a good nicotine kick to it, if, if that's your jam. Um, it, um, it, it probably burns a little bit better if maybe you uh, gave it some air time. I mean, I didn't really before packing this. It's my own fault, really. I didn't give it any air time. I just took it straight from the pouch and shoved it in. You think I'd know better really by now, but hey, even uh, when you've been smoking pipes a while, you still make bizarre rookie mistakes from time to time. Just impatience. You just get completely complacent to things, I think, sometimes. Or at least I do, put it that way. Uh, nice, thick smoke, pleasant room note, pleasant aroma to it. Hmm. Very good, yeah. Yeah, not as um, not as flowery as Condor, but still very nice. Still very nice indeed. Um, is prone to relights as you've seen in this video. But yeah. It's very good, it's very pleasant, it's very enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't used to enjoy it, but I think that um that first time of trying it just didn't work for me, but yeah, I'm finding it a very good blend these days. More than likely going to make its way into my regular rotation actually. Um I would say that this would make an excellent all day blend for the seasoned pipe smoker um, it's readily available it's moderately cheap actually um, I think 50 grams cost me less than 12 pounds where I live so that's quite cheap for the UK it's quite cheap um, I think it cost me about I think it might have even cost me less than 11 pounds actually I think it cost me about 10 pounds or something be about that, it wasn't very expensive um, but it was you know, worth it as far as I'm concerned 
Um, I'm also going to use some of it to blend with gold block, make uh, some Ogden's mixture because um, I've been told that's quite good. Um, I'm also going to use some for other blending purposes. Probably going to have to buy them a power trailer, which is why I think it's going to make it into my regular rotation. It seems like something I'm going to be smoking quite a bit of, um, which is not a bad thing. Um, it's probably one of the best over the counter blends I've tried throughout this series. Um, rating wise, I'm going to give it a one for the cut. Um, packability, you get half a point for lightability because as you've seen I've had to do quite a few relights. Um, I'm going to give it a point for flavour slash beard note, a point for body strength balance because I find uh, it's all in perfect alignment with each other and overall enjoyment I'm going to give it a point so that's 4.5 for that rating. Um, it's really good. Um, I would highly recommend it, definitely give it a shot, um, I will be reviewing the flake equivalent at some point as well, um, and yeah, it's, it's really good, I would highly recommend it, um, don't necessarily believe what you read on review sites because um, there, is, there is some snobbery going about, you know, it's an OTC blend, people think, eh. Oh no, it's not good. But I tell you, if the other over the counter blends that I've reviewed so far in the series were as good as Saint Bruno or Condor, then they'd all be on a level footing, I think, pretty much. Um, but unfortunately, um, a lot of the over counter blends are not <laughs> anywhere near in the same league. But thankfully, uh, Saint Bruno seems to have uh, retained. The uh, retained the original quality, I think. Um, I mean, I never smoked the original, but yeah, I uh, highly recommend it. It's a very good smoke for the seasoned pipe smoker. It's a 4.5 out of 5. So, with that, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, as always. Feel free to subscribe, whatever, share, tell people. Eh, why not? Eh? Uh, the more videos to follow so thank you for watching and until next time take it easy cheers